No goals at the J. Davidson Stadium this afternoon, but uh, plenty of interest in the match. Altrincham nil, FC Halifax Town nil, and we're talking to uh, Lee Sinnott. Lee, uh, we've taken a point from the game, which uh, puts us on 50 points, which is uh, nice to see. Uh, overall, was that a point gained? Um, I, I would say so, yeah. I thought uh, I thought the players put a lot of effort into today's game. I mean, uh, I thought one thing that stood out that... Uh, you uh, you could tell in our play uh, as the game went on as well that uh, we'd had a long journey in the week. Um, uh, you know I'm not uh, making excuses for the players, but uh, the energy levels were you know um, a little bit low, uh, which which is understandable. I mean, like I said before that you know they they'll have got home and took the milk in and then gone to work. So there's always uh, you know a, um, a cause of that. But uh, I, I thought that we uh, we dug in very well, and uh, that's something that I'm pleased to. To uh, to say, um, I think over the two games as well, Halifax, you know, don't need any um, um, invitation to to ask you questions, you know, aerially in the box. And I think we've stood up to them, you know, pretty well in the in the in the two games. So I would say a fair result. You'd have to watch the whole ninety minutes again to say, you know, does anybody, did either team really deserve the three points? I know there was a couple of Mellies, wasn't there? With Stuart making a couple of saves, uh, very close together. But then you can say. You know, we uh, we worked the ball well into uh, into the same area with James Laurie in the first half, and it just showed the post. So, you know, like I said, you'd have to watch the whole 90 minutes again to uh, to see if you had any bragging rights. But um, full credit to the players. You know, they they've uh, they've dug in uh, and uh, you know and secured a point. And and on that um, and on that note as, as as well, Flinny. I mean, yeah, we've hit 50 points now. I mean, we we entered the 40 point. Um, um, bracket, you know, of 10 points on January the 17th against Torquay. Uh, that is nine, ten games ago, and it's two months ago. So it's been a bit of a sticky, sticky, uh, you know, um, the 40s have been a little bit sticky for us. So it's it, it's nice to actually, uh, you know, to get out of there. I think Halifax started quite well. Jamie Jackson was causing us some problems down the left-hand side, and we couldn't really create opportunities until towards the end of the half when uh, James Laurie did have a couple of good opportunities. Yeah, I think uh, we play our best football when we get the ball down on the on the on the grass, don't we? And and move the ball quickly um, um, around the park. And uh, I think we showed that in isolated pockets in the first half, a little bit more in the first half than than we did in the second half. Uh, but uh, um, you know, we we stood. I thought we stood up to it pretty well defensively. You, you could tell there was tired bodies. You know, in the second half, the way um, you know people were were addressing the ball, but. Uh, uh, you know, uh, like I said before, you know, full credit to the players um, for actually, you know, seeing it over the line. And at half time, we lost Simon Richmond. Understand that was um, a, f a further knock on his uh, on his dead leg. Was that correct? That is frustrating. Yes, that is. <laughs> what is that? That's the third foot or fourth knock now on the same place. Um, we uh, we started with a system. I mean, we've looked at the systems that we played throughout the season, and uh, you know, a couple of systems come out, you know, come out of the paper that uh, that show that uh, have been beneficial to us. Plus, in the back of my mind as well was um, it was a very good away performance at Halifax, where we won three one, playing uh, playing a four four one one. Um, you know, we started with a four two three one today, and and when Simon got injured at half time, I didn't want to disrupt that system. I thought it was working pretty well for us. Um, <laughs> actually, in the end, for any, we ended up using three systems just to, uh, to help the players over the line uh, because Halifax adjusted their system, I think, with about 15, 20 minutes to go. They went to a more 4 4 2, didn't they? I think they started like a 4 1 4 1, which was quite respectful, actually, you know, because they obviously uh, they put uh, the lad Pearson in, in that hole because they. Uh, uh, they probably remembered uh, how James Laurie operated, you know, for for the away game and and did extremely well. So uh, yeah, I mean, we've we've adjusted with systems. You know, we, we've got ourselves over the line, but um, obviously losing Simon at half time, you know, it's it, it, it's very disappointing. I think he was you know, showing you know what what he brings to the team. Uh, you know, the way he gets around the park, his energy. Um, Nicky felt his hamstring a little bit at half time, so we just monitored that. I mean, he lasted another what 19 minutes. You you have to be careful. I mean, you um, sometimes you have to take away the the decision from the players, Flenny, because they'll they'll be a little bit too honest, if that makes sense, and they'll they'll want to stay on and, and help the cause. But I thought, right, we've got another 20 minutes out of Nick. Let's get him off now, and obviously bringing Ryan on. And um, I thought. Um, bringing Sean on as well in the, in the centre where he operates the best. Uh, when we went to that 4-1-4-1, I thought he gave us a little bit of energy as well, which which was needed at the time. So, uh, you know, the uh, the substitutes, you know, are made, uh, you know, for, for, for different reasons. 
As the game wore on, it uh, was clear that Halifax were, had come for the three points and need the three points, really, to keep their uh, playoff hopes uh, alive. And they had two or three really good opportunities where, to be honest, nine times out of ten on both occasions they would have scored a goal. But uh, some heroic defending from Scott Leather and uh, one or two others and some great goalkeeping from Stuart Coburn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you've said it all, Flynn. Um, in, in a way, I think... Most people in the ground would have been expecting the ball to hit the back of the net, wouldn't they? But uh, uh, we've managed to keep it out by, by hook or by crook. Obviously, uh, you know, some great um, goalkeeping by Stuart. But getting bodies in the way as well, which, which, is, which is vitally important as well. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, um, it's good defending. Like I said, over the two games against Halifax, I think we've defended pretty well, you know, over 180 minutes. Uh, you know, even though that uh, you could tell that uh, we had some tired bodies out there today. Most of our chances have fallen to uh, James Laurie. I think he's had a, a good game today. He seemed to find plenty of space in pockets uh, in, in some quite dangerous areas, which caused them a few problems. But he'd probably be a little bit disappointed he hasn't uh, got on the score sheet. I think so, yeah. Um, there's the one in the second half that rose over the bar, wasn't there? The one um, on his left foot that's just shaved the post, hasn't it? I mean, um, at this stage of the season, with the pitches in the state that they are... Um, Maybe that bobble could have uh, diverted it to the left uh, rather than to the right. But uh, um, the pleasing aspect, but I mean, this has been throughout the season, which is backed up by statistics. But, you know, we do create opportunities to get players into shooting up um, positions. Um, I think I saw the stat where we're the, the third highest in the league for shots, aren't we? But, but in the same, the same breath, Flenny, you know, we're, we're third in another table, which is for the most missed shots. So that that's something that uh, you know that that has to be uh, has to be addressed. But I'll be more worried if we're not getting opportunities. You know, we're not having those efforts because you know there's something wrong with the link-up play. Obviously, the link-up play is doing its job. Now we just need to uh, hit the target more. And uh, all three substitutions have made an impact, as you said. I thought Ryan Crowther um, gave us something and gave us some extra energy and created one or two things. And after Halifax hadn't scored with those great opportunities, we probably carried the greater threat in the final minutes. Well, you're you're always wary, aren't you? I mean, uh, any free kick around the halfway line, it could be pumped into your box. Then it's you know, um, as much as you want to get something big on the ball, you know, when you're playing against big guys, it, it's hard, isn't it? So that that's always in the back of your mind. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the substitutes, you know, were made for the reasons that you know I've, I've stated out, and uh, maybe m maybe we could say, you know, we 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 could have uh, you know worked a goal, but. Like I said, Flynn, I mean, I'd have to watch the 90 minutes fully again to see if anybody would have bragging rights about, um, you know, who, who, if anybody deserved, uh, you know, the three points. Uh, it looked to me like probably, probably a point was w w was fair on both sides. We certainly had our hearts in our mouths uh, when uh, the Halifax player went tumbling in our box because we thought it was a dive, but we thought the referee might uh, just give it. You may have got a better view of that. Mm. No, no, <laughs> it's. I was saying to the players afterwards um, that I try and stay away from those decisions making. I mean, I was reading an article with uh, Wenger this morning where you can get a little bit aerated on the bench, can't you? Do you know what I mean? And you should have a word with yourself a little bit. I mean, we, we haven't got the luxury of, of five cameras and, and, and playback, have we? We just see what happens. Now, unless for me that I actually see a blatant handball, yeah, which obviously you can see a hang up, you can see the ball strike it, yeah, so you can say, yeah, that's handball. Um, I, I try and stay away from them. Um, I wouldn't say I had a brilliant view. I mean, uh, I had a view of it, but I mean, the referee's a lot closer than I am, uh, you know. So uh, if he, you know, he, d he deemed obviously that it, that it wasn't a penalty kick. Um, so you know, that's fine by me. But it's a bit hard to, well, you know, I've gone around the bushes a little bit. But the point I'm saying is that you know, try and stay away from it a little bit because you know you don't have the luxury of slowing it down and and and, and other aspects. Six games uh, to go now, four away, two at home, and we've got a difficult week physically out of the way, so uh, plenty to look forward to. Very much so, yeah. I mean, uh, like we said, getting into the, uh, the 50 points now. Now, you know, can we break into the 60s? That's, you know, that, that's, our, that's our next goal. And then uh, getting into the 60s, how many games are left, you know, and, and how many more points can we put on the, uh, on the board? Um, which has always been the case all season. Um, six games to go. You know whether we go away or, or we play at home. You know the, the the players are told. You know we, we play, play the same way. Um, so like I said, he's you know for the players just to give their their minds maybe a little bit of a you know a mental spa, which says you know it's what is it five weeks to the end of the season, um, six games. I mean you look over your shoulder and you can't even probably 
um, visualise all the shots on the first game of the season. It's that long ago. You, you know, you've got six games left of this season. Go out and enjoy it and express yourself and uh, work hard and, and, and that, that'll do that'll do fine for us because that's got us 50 points so far this season and uh, let's see how many more we can put on the board. That's uh, Ultra Good Manager Lee Sinnott there reflecting on the nil-nil draw against FC Halifax Town here this afternoon at the J. Davidson Stadium.